Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day in this video. I wanted to get a new shelf for my crypto mining basement and you guys have probably noticed that my hot and cold aisle has been removed. Okay, I had purple insulation that was in the front here and on the sides and now that wall is, is out. I took it down and at the same time I scuffed the ceiling and the wall paint came off and that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that up later. What I wanna do today is mainly get a new shelf because like I explained in other videos that I wanted to do something similar that I did in my crypto mining barn where I got the red shelf, the husky red shelf and all the octaminers were at the top level. And so yeah, the biggest thing for me as well is to get my ASICs out of this studio room here that are running right now on the center of this table, which I want it run over under the octaminers. So my plan is to have the octaminers at the top and then the ASICs at the bottom shelf. And then like the power, all the cables and networking is gonna be on a middle shelf. Exact same style as my barn shelf, all right? That's all I basically wanna do because I'm, I'm not happy with this like Costco wire shelf and all the octaminers were on the floor here. It just didn't seem right and plus my hot and cold aisle wasn't the best like the way I did it. In my opinion, it wasn't the most, I would say, efficient or effective way in which, you know, the way it was set up. That's basically it. That's all I'm trying to get at here. It's also getting pretty cold where I am as of recording. Essentially winter is coming, you guys know that. And yeah, like it's about, what, 83, well it's 83 Fahrenheit over here, but then 76 over here. Uh, must be a yeah oh it's actually a little bit warm because of the power supply anyways winter is coming and i essentially want to get some rigs up anyway because the house is actually cold upstairs so i do want to figure out i guess once i do put a shelf here of some sort how am i going to funnel some heat upstairs so that's that's probably going to be for another video all right guys i'm just going to go to costco or home depot and find a similar shelf i did in the barn and i'll have it up right after a word from today's video sponsor zero crypto consulting zero crypto consulting is a one-stop shop for anything you want to know about cryptocurrency or crypto mining they specialize in professional personalized training courses and custom mining rig builds ranging from courses on basic crypto understanding to advanced trading techniques. If you would like to see what Zero Crypto Consulting is all about, schedule a free 30-minute strategy call with the team using coupon code RPM. They will take you to the next level and prepare you with knowledge in this ever-growing cryptocurrency ecosystem. Check out Zero Crypto Consulting, link down below. Okay, take a look at this. I got a new... Husky black shelf. They didn't have a red one in stock. I was really sad But this is the exact same size as the one I got in the barn except in black as you guys can see look at that I put the octaminers all the way basically to the ceiling so that it would be somewhat level to my exhaust fan as you guys can see right here, okay, I just test fit some octaminers here just to see you know, how high I need to install this level of the shelf, right? So that I could have the spacing just perfect for my X8 Ultras and some X8 Ultra Pluses, which is pretty much touching the ceiling, just perfect level for this part of the shelf, you guys can see. So yeah, that's really good. I don't need to, basically, I don't need to put any styrofoam or anything in the front here. And then you guys can see the second level here. All right, this is where I'm gonna have like my network switch and also my PDUs. So this one, I have a 240 volt, 30 amp PDU here. I cable strapped it to the, to the shelf here so it's nice and sturdy so that, you know, I'll have the C13 to C14 cables just go straight up to the octaminers, right? Right here, as you guys can see. So I'll have another PDU right here and I'll probably need to go to infinitecables.com and get some two or three footer C13 to C14 cables to be, you know, nicely cable managed. Obviously not in a rush right now to get these rigs on, as you guys know with the state of the market right now of GPU mining. But uh, yeah, so that's the second level. Now the third row here I have my 240 volt 30 amp trip light PDU here, 15 amp banks. This part of the shelf I'm gonna be using for some of my ASICs, or actually probably all of my ASICs if the power can handle it. So I have a bunch of the Ipolos, I got some gold shells and uh, Antminer E9. 
Uh, this may take up a lot of power, or about 2400 watts. And I do have a LT Lite here, Gold Shell LT Lite Mining Litecoin, Merge Mining Dogecoin. So I'm hoping to, in another video, I'm gonna transport all these over to this third shelf right here, okay? If that makes sense, you guys can let me know if you like that. And then at the very bottom, I have two X12 Ultra Octaminer server cases, which are filled with A2000s. I got 12 modded ones, and then I got 12 stock ones. I, or either, or I don't know which one's modded or not modded. Forgot which ones, but it fits perfectly on this 78 or 77 inch wide Husky shelf. Just perfect that I can lay these out horizontally and uh, obviously not vertically, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't fit unless I move the shelf up, but then I wouldn't have room for my A6. I, I measured it just enough for the E9 that uh, the height would be perfect, right? It would just be perfect for this level of shelf here and then my Octaminers at the top. Let me know what you guys think. I think this looks awesome. I think this looks just perfect. This is what I should have done in the beginning and I think in another video previously, maybe a couple months ago when I converted it, to that and I did the wall and everything, I said that would be the last iteration and I lied. This is, <laughs> I think this is gonna be the last iteration in the basement here that you guys will see. I think this will be my final setup here and it's, I think this will be really good, really good. Let me know uh, what you guys think. But yeah, I don't know if there's any other ways I could make this better. Oh yeah, one thing I, I was thinking is I didn't know the I guess the spacing for between the wall or the exhaust fan and the shelf and I remember watching a bunch of ASIC mining farm videos I forgot it I forgot who it was maybe it was Bitsby Trippin or maybe Voscoin somebody uh, there was a mining farm that calculated that I think three feet spacing between the I guess the the mining rigs and the exhaust fan was the perfect number like three feet three feet spacing so that's what i did here i did three feet spacing roughly for my shelf in which the air could hopefully be displaced perfectly i believe three feet was the magical number to do this so i don't know anything about that i'm not an hvac person engineer whatever uh, you guys can let me know if that is okay or not but i think this looks pretty good. I really love how this looks. I don't know if I can make this any better, but you guys let me know down below what you think about this setup. All right, let me know. So obviously I'm gonna have another PDU here and then I'll have another PDU I believe at the bottom here as well. So I'll have four 30 amp 240 volts, but am I gonna be utilizing all that power? Probably not. So it's not like what my last setup, my previous setup was before when I had all of these GPUs on, like my 3090s, my 3070 Ti's, you know, these uh, 3080's, you know, these rigs I am probably not gonna turn on because they're just not as efficient as my RTX 3070 rigs, which I got two up there already. And uh, actually I do have one here that's already on mining. You guys know which coin I'm mining and uh, my 6700 XT's. Really love these rigs, R nice and efficient. Also my A2000's, that's why I moved them down here because I just wanna use right now just my most efficient rigs at this moment and uh, once I get the uh, C13, C14 power cables, of course. And oh, I think I may need to order some uh, networking cables as well. That's, uh, yeah, I need to get some nice lengths. But uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it, guys. That's all I wanted to do for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm, I'm gonna start moving stuff over, get everything on, and then we'll generally see how much power uh, we are using because I have all metered power distribution units like uh, like this one here got from, got from Alibaba but uh, actually one thing I might be concerned with is the this one's only an eight port right and then I have another one that's going to be an eight port but the trip light one has a lot of ports and then I'll have another one that has eight ports as well but that should be enough for the x12s yeah anyways we'll come to that when I uh, when I do that right now I'm just waiting for some cables but I wanna know what you guys think of this setup. Let me know down below. All right, I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. And peace out.